Hi guys, Micro here. This is my video talking about the Nox bow and how it isn't actually worth using. A lot of people think the Nox bow is a really good weapon because it's a tier 90 and it's expensive. But in reality, it's only expensive because of the scythe and the staff and biting components, and it's kept high because of the spider leg price from Rax, not the weapon itself. It's directly correlated to the other weapons from Rax because it's made in the same way, which keeps its price. But the actual weapon is garbage. I'm going to explain why in this video, so let's get right into it. I've been planning on making this video for a while, but I stumbled across a post that reminded me of this a couple of days ago on Reddit. This post is from Big Archive. So big shout out to him. This man has done some good maths on the Wyvern crossbow. What his reddit post was essentially saying is that the wyvern crossbow is the best range weapon if the target is poisonable and doesn't need accuracy of like a tier 90 or tier 92 and you cannot use an eldritch crossbow spec. Eldritch crossbow spec is the best thing for range but if you don't have access to that sometimes the wyvern crossbow is actually the best thing which is insane. The reason why the Wyvern Crossbow is so good is because of its passive. It poisons the monster and triggers weapon poison, cinder banes and such more often, which really adds up. So against bosses like Solak, Hellweir, Greg, and some elite dungeon bosses that can be poisoned and you don't need accuracy on, the Wyvern Crossbow is insanely strong. He goes into it in real detail in this post, so I'm going to leave the post in the description to this video talking about the Wyvern Crossbow and expressing why it's such a good weapon. But we're not just going to be focusing on the wyvern crossbow this video i want to go into like what i would recommend in terms of what to buy in the order of upgrades for range i've made my own tier list which is on screen right now so now i'm going to talk through my decisions and why i've ranked these things in these areas and explain why the nox bow is bad explain why the others are better and then you can take it upon yourselves to choose whatever you want for your range setup Maybe sell your Noxbow, get something better. Because I see a ton of people using the Noxbow and it's just not good. We'll work our way from the bottom to the top. This is my purchase order. There are other things you can purchase here and there. This is just the main weapons you'll be using. Obviously, when it comes to PVM, you can have flanking switches. You can have abilities and perks and whatever. I'm not going to go into any of the buy orders of those things. What I'm going to be focusing on is the buy order of weapons specifically. Noxbow hits F tier. A Noxbow is 140 mil. It cannot use Bacriminal Bolts. Things like Ruby Bacriminal Bolts increase your DPS on high HP bosses so much. It's insane. You hit 12Ks with them, right? That's so much additional damage that you're losing out on. Not to mention it has no passive. It has no good special attack. It's not going to do much for you, especially when you're spending 140 mil on it. The biggest gripe with Noxbow is the cost. There's no way you should spend 140 mil on a Noxbow when there's way better alternatives. In E tier, we have the Decimation. Decimation is tier 87, and it is under half the price of a Noxbow. But that's also very expensive, being like 60 mil. But it has a niche spec, so it's actually better than a Noxbow, in my opinion, because of its special attack. The Decimation Special Attack allows you to AoE like you're using Chins for 10 seconds when you activate it special. So it can have some decent uses here and there, maybe in Shattered Worlds and such. But other than that, it's not going to do very well for the 60 mil that you're paying. In D tier, we have Shadow Glaives. Shadow Glaives are dual wield, which means they get access to Needle Strike. Needle Strike is a great ability because it increases the damage of your next ability after using it by 7%. So if you follow a needle strike up with a threshold, it's going to make that threshold hit harder, which is always really useful. Shadow Glaives also have tier 90 accuracy, which means they're very good for things like racks, where the accuracy matters. The downside to the Shadow Glaives is that they only have tier 80 damage because of that tier 90 accuracy, and they don't have any special attacks or anything like that either. But they are the cheapest option. So if you're going for the most budget option, Shadow Glaives are the way to go. And I would say they probably do, on average, a bit more DPS than what a Decimation would. And again, the Shadow Glaives cannot use the Criminal Bolts either, which takes them down way further than if they could use them. 
in C tier. It is my favorite budget option out there, and that is the Wyvern crossbow. It's literally, what, like 25 mil or something, and it is super strong. This bow is tier 85 accuracy and tier 85 damage. It has the passive for the poison, which makes it one of the best poison weapons in the game, if not the best poison weapon in the game, when comboed with Cinder Banes and Weapon Poison at places like Greg and Solak, etc. And if you're using a Reckless Aura, you're going to have 100% accuracy on a decent amount of bosses with Reckless and Tier 95 Prayers and Elder Overloads, etc. So it's still super strong because you don't even need the extra accuracy that like a Nox Bow would give you. And you're getting that passive and you're getting back bolts, which makes it deal more damage than a Nox Bow for 25 mil. A Nox Bow is 140 mil and this is 25 mil. It's insanely good. It is the best budget option if you're looking to get something to see you through PVM until you can afford Ascensions. Wyman Crossbow's your man. In B tier, I would say Main Hand Ascension and Offhand Shadow Glaive take that tier because of the tier 90 accuracy. The Offhand doesn't have as much of an impact as the Main Hand, and even if you have a Main Hand Ascension, you can still proc for Criminal Bolts, which is useful, which is the downside of Shadow Glaives anyway, not having those. And it's a cheap way to get at least one Ascension running, especially if you need that tier 90 accuracy. Then in A tier, there is Ascensions. Yes, Wyvern Crossbow is really, really strong with its passive and stuff, but a lot of bosses can't be poisoned, right? You have Araxor that you're going to do with range, you have Nex that you're going to do with range, etc., and they're not poisonable. The accuracy at places like Nex is super important. So I would rate Ascensions better than a Wyvern Crossbow because of their accuracy, and they can still use Back Bolts, and they also get Needle Strike on top of that. So they get the Needle Strike ability that increases the damage by 7% of your next attack. Comboing that with Thresholds makes them super strong, right? Ascensions are definitely the best tier 90 in the range category. Then number one, as we all know, the king of range is the Eldritch Crossbow. Eldritch Crossbow has the best tier 92 spec for range. The Saren Gobbo spec is good, but it doesn't always work at every boss. And you only use the Saren Gobbo for its spec because it can't use back bolts, etc. So you're going to be camping the Eldritch and using its spec most of the time. Then you use back bolts alongside it. And if you really wanted to, you can go really sweaty and do a dual wield and two-hander rotation with it. But if you're just going to camp one tier 92, Eldritch is the one I would go with because its spec is absolutely nutty. If you have any further questions on this, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I tried to showcase this as best as I could. Hopefully the information was useful to you guys. The Reddit post is in the description if you wanted to check out that as well about the Wyvern Crossbow and why it's such a good weapon. And yeah, if you're using a Nox Bow, ditch it. Get your money and spend it on a Wyvern Crossbow or Ascensions. And then you'll do so, so much better with those Bicriminal Bolts. Do make sure the Bicriminal Bolts are enchanted though, otherwise they won't work. And that'll be it for this video. It's only a short one. I just wanted to showcase this and it's something that I've uh, been passionate about on my stream for months, telling people to, you know, get rid of their Noxbows and stuff because they're just not good. They're only expensive because of biting and because of spider legs. And as always, until next time, see ya.